good morning, or I guess I should say good evening since I post these haul videos in the evening. Anyway, today I have a lot to get through. I'm gonna do an unboxing haul video from my trip to Street of Shops in Lewisburg Antique Mall. It's 21 items total. It feels like a lot more than that though. I still have to list all this stuff. Um, I found a lot of really good deals and I am excited to talk about it. The first thing I got was this poodle trinket tray. Now this is Barbarian China, made in Germany. It's got the little poodles on it. It is signed. Um, now the prices for these are all over the place and sold. I only paid $3.75 for this, which is a steal. I had one kind of like it. Uh, it did sell for $24, I believe. This one, I don't think will go for that much. I think, and I'm thinking more like 16, 18 area but these are kind of hard to find. I was super excited to find it, especially for such a great price. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with this next item. It's huge. Uh, it's gonna take me a while to get around to it. i um, got so much smalls that I have to take care of first. I normally don't buy oversized items and I'm pretty vocal about it. However, this bread box, I could not resist. It was only $4, which is insane. Ah! It's got the mushrooms on it. And it does have the original shelf in here. Um, I don't really have enough space to show it properly. Now, it does need a couple new screws at the bottom, but when I looked this up on eBay, my gut sense told me it was worth well more than $4, and I was right. I saw a couple and sold anywhere from $86 to $110. So for four bucks, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, just like I said but I might end up throwing it on eBay and putting it in UPS. I know I can sell this on Etsy, but I will not combine shipping with this thing. Um, it's really bulky and I sell a lot of really fragile small things and I just don't wanna overstuff my package. So unfortunately my receipt is a little whack. Um, it just has letters and codes on most of it. So I'm gonna go through the items that I know what I paid for um, from the receipt and just kinda hope that I can figure the rest out. Next up, I got this little stuffed tiger. Now this I only paid $3.20 for, which is really cheap. Um, I love its little tongue. It's super cute. It's still got the original tag, Esther Miller. I probably won't sell it for that much, but it's gonna be a really good return at $3.75. Now, what I also appreciate about this is even though I didn't pay much for it, there's really not much staining at all on it. In fact, it's just like a little bit of wear on its belly, but other than that, it's fur is in like perfect condition. I love this. This stuffed poodle, I only got for $3.75. It's made in Japan. Um, you can't really tell on the tag. I know for a fact it says Japan because I've had ones like it before. I love that it's jointed. It's kind of got that stife-like quality. Uh, it's got the mohair, the straw-filled legs, and I love the fact that it's striped and it's beady little eyes with red collar. Absolutely adorable. I do believe its name is Fifi and I didn't make that up. <laughs> this is a really special one. This monkey, I only paid $4.15 for. Now it does have vintage faux flowers on it as well as the little chenille nylon wing bumblebee with Google A eyes on it which is incredible. Again, it's got kind of that stife-like quality. This one's made in Japan. Um, it does have the remnants of the sticker on its foot here. He's in great condition. He, I mean, he's a little dusty here, but for his age, I think it's absolutely incredible. And I just absolutely adore his face. It's very sweet. And it's really hard to find uh, these chenille bugs and things like that in general. So the fact that it came with this guy and I paid under $5 for it is insane. 
This one's from uh, Lewisburg. I ran out of time there, unfortunately, but I did happen to pick this up. This is a Tilso uh, Purple Cow pitcher, which is pretty hard to find. I only paid $10 for it, and I was in such a rush that I was afraid it was going to be cracked when I got it home. But it doesn't appear to be at all. I mean, it's got a little crazing on it. Uh, it's got the original number on the bottom there. For $10, I'll be able to triple my money on this for sure. I am so excited about this one. I've actually never found one of these. I've only found variations. This is an Arnart red bow tie deer figurine. And the paint is impeccable pretty much, which is really impossible to find. I mean, it's got a couple tiny little specks maybe. It is missing its chain with its little baby figurines. But I found this in a crafts booth, which was really surprising. And I only paid $4 for it, which is super nuts. Now, if you look on eBay right now, you see a lot of them listed for like 120 bucks or something totally crazy like that. Just the figurine, not even the one with the chains with the babies. I personally think that is an unsellable price. Um, maybe if it was complete, maybe. <laughs> um, but like I said, this is a really hard one to find. I'll probably end up putting uh, about $49 on it, plus shipping maybe, um, you know, which is essentially half the price is asking on eBay. But like I said, if you go into sold, you're not gonna find the $120 price tag on this guy. It's a really good deal, $4. And, and that's one of the, hold on, there's like a whole thing happening outside. As I was saying, um, that's one of my favorite things to do is go through the craft booths and the booths that have like all the new toys and stuff. Cause you just really never know what you're gonna find. And to me, I think it makes it twice as exciting when I find it in a super unexpected location. This one really confuses me. Now, I normally stay away from reproductions or new items in general, um, especially Repop, but this was kind of hard to resist. When I saw it, I screamed pretty much. I really thought it was the real deal. Um, it's made by Napco. The original one like this would have a matte finish, um, but I was pretty far away and it was dark down there in the basement, so I couldn't really tell. It would have more of a matte finish and it would go for about $250. Now, the thing about this is, even though it looks exactly like the original, it is marked Napco, um, napcoimports.com, but made in China. Now, for this, it was I ended up paying $7.85. I felt like it was a easy item to pick up just because the original one is not only so rare, but so expensive. So somebody who just likes the kitschy look of this reindeer, I mean, for $7.85, it was a steal. I saw them on sold anywhere from 35 to 40 bucks. So quick flip, I feel like, and it's a fun Christmas item. I just love him. I mean, the reindeer by Napco are really hard to find. Reindeer in general are hard to find. So even though I normally say no to Repop, this one, I decided to throw in the basket. This I got two for the price of one, basically. I paid $10 for the pair. Uh, got the little cat and the little pixie angel. These pixie angels are hard to find. I mean, the cats alone, any of these figurines with the little flowers on it, these Japan cuties, usually sell pretty quick. They don't sell for much. I don't think the cat will sell for more than a few bucks. However, this version usually sells pretty well. Um, I think the last angel one I had like this sold for $24. So, and again, the paint's in really good condition. A lot of the times if you do find them, the flowers are chipped or the paint on the face is all messed up. So the little pixie angel, the pair 10 bucks. It was an easy flip. I'll probably sell this for like seven, eight bucks or something, honestly, just to, you know, re recoup some of my funds and it is a more common one. I mean, usually I just see the dogs. The cats aren't as easy to find as the, um, the cats aren't as easy to find as the dogs are, but the pixie angel is really what sealed the deal for me. Now this is a planter I've had before, but it usually sells pretty quick. And this one was only $6. 
There's a lot of variations of this, but I love that the facial features are so defined in the blue eyeshadow. Here's another thing that they have a lot of variations on. This, uh, hold on, let me get this tag remnants off of it. There we go. This flocked reindeer. I mean, it was only $5. Now, when I see these, normally it's uh, a different version. The one that sells for a little bit less, they're a little bit smaller and they look a little bit cheaper. This one's a little bit sturdier. And what's incredible about it not is that all the flocking is there. Normally they're like missing spots or they have a hole in them. Um, this color is hard to find. This facial features are hard to find. It's even got its original bell and gold glitter ears for $5. This was a steal. Um, they usually go anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. So for five bucks, I think I'm gonna be able to triple my money on this one. I don't know why I have such a weakness for things with their tongue out. I just think it's such a fun graphic. This mug was made in Japan. It was uh, $5.30 after the discount. I just thought it was just a happy thing to have. So I went ahead and grabbed it. For that price, I kind of felt like I couldn't go wrong. I love spaghetti poodles. I love poodles in general. I just think they're such a fun 1950s thing. Sorry, the brightness on my phone just kind of went dark. I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, uh, this one I got for $8.50. Now I have went on a huge spaghetti poodle buying spree not that long ago. So I've kind of like reined it, reeled it in a little bit on buying them just because I got stuck with a decent amount. I mean, I wouldn't say stuck with, they're pretty great. Uh, now the paint on the mouth is missing a little bit, but I love that it has the rhinestones and the glasses. Now, um, there's a lot of different variations of these. My favorite is the cat eye glasses, but these are still fun too. For $8.50, I would say this is probably one of the better selling versions of Spaghetti Poodles. So I went ahead and scooped it up. And it's also one of those things where if it doesn't sell, it doesn't really matter because I just keep it. Unfortunately, I did miss a pretty gnarly chip on this set. Uh, they are pie. It was towards the end of my uh, PY is the marking I'm referring to. Uh, that maker usually sells pretty well um, and it's kind of hard to find. Unfortunately, it was towards the end of my shopping day and I was so excited to see a $5 price tag on them. I didn't really look them over at all. I just kind of got slap happy. So they do have a little um, boo-boo there, but they have a pretty gnarly chip on this side right here. So I probably would be lucky to, you know, make a couple dollars off these. Maybe I'm sure somebody can find some purpose for them. I think in good condition, I've seen them go anywhere from 23 to $34. So, you know, just make, try and at least recoup my funds on this one. Here's another ceramics maker that's kind of hard to find. It's Bradley. Now, I think the most infamous thing Bradley makes are the little Bradley Bone China Mermaids. This I had actually never seen before and the thermometer on it is correct, though it's hard to tell through the video. Uh, there's no cracks or chips on it. It's just so stinking cute. I love its facial expression and it's ready to hang on the wall. For this, I paid $12 for and um, I'm hoping to like 2.5 my money on that one. In my Etsy shop, I like to have things of all different price ranges. It is fun when you can just buy yourself a little knickknack, something that you fall in love with. It doesn't cost much. This little cat was so cute and I only paid $4 for it. I couldn't resist. Um, it's even got the little pink flower on its head. So I've seen this cow before. A lot of people have it marked as a figurine. It's made by Tilso Japan, but it is actually a salt and pepper shaker set. And what's crazy is I finally found it with its salt and pepper shakers. Now, I'm not sure what's happening back here. Maybe perhaps a pick holder or something. It's definitely um, has some purpose. And I know that there was a spice, there's probably a spice set that goes right here too. So when it sits, um, they kind of nestle in. That's my guess. What goes in here, you know what? It's probably, uh, oh, you know what? It's probably two more uh, spice things that have hooks in them, kind of like the tip of the cow. Either way, this set is like impossible to find complete. This is the closest I've ever come. I had no idea that the uh, salt and pepper shaker set had the infamous purple uh, cow on it. Now for this set, I did pay $8. I think it's a really good price. Um, 
yeah i mean like i said it's i think i'll never find it complete but just with the purple cow salt and pepper shakers hanging on it alone and the fact that it's in such good condition i was pretty happy with this purchase so hosef originals makes these elves right um now the rubber ones aren't marked the ones that are marked most of the time i have the sticker are these ceramic ones some of those sell for a ridiculous sum of money now i really like the rubber ones because they're easy to find there's a lot of things you can do with them i actually have some in my uh little plants my faux succulents and such over there but i think i'm not mistaken i think i paid five dollars for this i only have two items left on my receipt that aren't marked and i'm pretty sure i paid seven dollars for the next one so five dollars um these are a really easy sell they're harder to find anything Hosef's original elf in this era you know 60s i definitely pick up for the right price so this next item uh, i only paid seven dollars for it i'm <laughs> really really happy with it there's a lot of variations of it out there um, you can see the back is a heart so you already know i'm a sucker for it but i think you know it's got a little chip right here but look at this little ballerina <laughs> Now, normally I see these go anywhere from 45 to like $68. It's gonna take a little homework to find this exact one. And like I said, she does have like a tiny touch of damage right there, but overall she's in pretty good condition. It's definitely harder to find, especially with the heart backing. There's lots of variations of this. Like I said, this exact one I've never seen. I've seen another one from the series. Um, <laughs> She is just so cute. I'm a sucker for the little kitschy ballerina girls and anything with a heart on it. I love anything kitschy cats. And this next item, let's see, I did get a discount on it. I was just making sure. It was originally $18. I got the 20% because I paid cash. So it came to $14.40. It's missing its chain, but check out this freaking adorable cat set. Now, this is definitely a harder to find one. I've only uh, had it once before I got it from that funky place in Richmond I went. It's like a weird texture and the eyes are original. It's supposed to be like that. Um, for $14.40, I'll easily be able to double my money on this and then some, uh, even though it doesn't have its chain like it should. I still am really pleased with this item, especially because they're all there. Uh, I would, would have been happy just to find one, let alone the complete set of three. Okay, last up. This one I paid $16 for, and she is in like mint condition, which is insane. I always pick these up for the right price because most of the time they're really stained, and I love the size of this. Her face is, and also the face, these, this plastic material is easy to break over time and there's no cracks in it. I mean, she's like absolutely perfection for $16. I think the last one I had like this sold for $59, but of course that includes my US shipping because my Etsy shop ships free over 35. And like I said in the past, most of the time I factor that into my costs and what I'm buying. But every once in a while, I'm like, hey, like this is an awesome item. I do have to factor in that I'm gonna be probably paying around $13 extra to ship this out. So that's all I got today. Now I will say I already have a date set on my calendar for when I'm returning back to Lewisburg. It's in a couple weeks or actually, gosh, by now it's next week. I can't get my days straight. I feel like this year is flying by. So anyway, I'm excited to list this stuff and I am even more excited to go back and see what else is there when they restock.